Hello friends, my name is Raja Gopal. Today I'm going to explore some IoT basics with Salesforce. I have ordered uh, NodeMCU ESP8266 and uh, I wanted to experiment this with uh, connecting to Salesforce through IoT technology and then control the external applications, um, something like external devices. So let us start exploring it. Here is the circuit. <clears throat> it is hardly a size of 9 volt battery. So here we have the complete setup. Uh, we have Node MCU A266 chip uh, connected directly to the uh, Samsung mobile charger and uh, it is uh, connected to the router and then continuously querying to the uh, REST API endpoint of Salesforce and uh, there are four LEDs on the board and uh, the fourth LED is uh, pin is also connected to a relay, uh, which in turn uh, connected to the external bulb. And I have the Salesforce One mobile app running in my mobile. And uh, let me navigate to an account. So I'm going to accounts, and I created an account called My Farm Host, which has fields in it as LED One, LED Two, LED Three, and LED Four. Currently, all the LED statuses have been uh, showing as off, and I am changing the changing the status of LED uh, to from off to on, and saving the record. You can see that there is an LED on the board. Uh, the LED two is is switched on, and uh, let me edit the record and then change the status of the LED four from on. Uh, from off to on saving the record and uh, you can see that the external bulb will also be switched on and uh, similarly I can switch off all the statuses here at once I'm switching off LED 2 and LED 4 and saving the record and you can see that the entire board uh, uh, got switched off. The same can be performed from the Salesforce uh, application on a desktop. I'm uh, switching on LED 4, saving the record. And that's how it is actually working. And switching off the LED you can see that the record got switched off that's how it is working let's see how it is working from the code front this node MCU 8266 v3 contains general purpose input output ports through which you can communicate to the external world that is either you can turn or, or off the external device yeah, and even you can read the data from a sensor something like a temperature temperature sensor or the light sensor or a humidity sensor and we have the Arduino ID in which you can write the program and uh, by connecting the micro USB cable you can burn the program into the node MCU 8266 in the standard account object I have created custom fields you can see LED 1 2 3 4 and light status these are the pick list values and these values can either contain off or on and you can see the page layout in the classic uh, Salesforce and you can see the layout in the lightning uh, page layout as well I removed all the other fields to make it simple uh, to keep it simple and you can see the same uh, page layout in the uh, Salesforce one mobile app I created a sample record my farmhouse in which the status of these individual LEDs have been shown here. I have created the REST endpoint in Salesforce. You can see the class which expects a request and it queries the account and gives the uh, values, uh, convert the values into string and returns the complete string value. So this query is specifically querying that uh, uh, um, farm my farm host and getting the status of these LEDs 
converting that into a string and the return value is going to be a string which contains all these values. In Arduino IDE, I have created a program. So this setup is going to set up the ESP8266 to connect to my specific router uh, with the password and connects to the ho host and uh, setting up these individual pin modes to output. I wanted to actually test it by switching or, or off the LEDs and uh, within the continuous loop we're going to uh, check the returned value or the response value and based on the value we are going to actually write the specific value onto the port and uh, you can see the COM port when I open the COM port I can see the response uh, which has been printed in serial monitor and uh, all that I'm interested in this is this string so within the specified time each each time in the loop I'm going to get this string and uh, I will just query this string and then based on the string I'm going to switch on or off the external LEDs now let us uh, compile this code and then burn it to ESP8266 So now we have burnt, burnt it and uh, let us test it. We are going to test this with the onboard LED of the ESP8266 and then continue. We have a standard report API calls made in Salesforce in the administrative reports wherein I can see the total number of uh, uh, requests which came in. Similarly, we can even do uh, create the log report. I have created a custom uh, object so every time a request arrives I'm going to create a record so I can see that there is a re data request and uh, the written uh, string which I'm going to actually which I'm sending it to the uh, requested uh, device. Uh, this log report can even serve as uh, a status monitor, uh, something like let's suppose if you do have a room in which you wanted to test the temperature, you can even see the trend uh, of the temperature variations uh, using this report. You can see the API request limits which are applicable to Salesforce. We have different uh, types of uh, logins here. We have developer edition, trail, production, lo uh, production logs and sandbox. So you can see that you can make five calls within a span of 20 seconds. So for every four seconds you can do the query and uh, the limit is much more high when you go for the production log. And uh, in the developer edition the total calls that you can actually make within 24 hour period is uh, 15,000 which I believe that I mean a lot uh, to to even use for any 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 specific purpose. So this is the last slide which I am very much interested in. So why have why I have chosen uh, Salesforce for this example? The reason is we no need to buy any any specific domain or register to any domain. We just need to actually I mean log into Salesforce. No need for any account in any open data IoT platforms like ThingSpeak, and even in ThingSpeak you can query uh, for every 15 seconds. If you wanted to query be before 15 seconds, it will, it will lock you for some time. No need to know or write code in scripting languages like PHP. So this is all click and uh, drag uh, in Salesforce. You can, you can design the page simply by dragging and uh, clicking and dragging. No need to work on bootstrap or responsive designs. We have Lightning. Lightning does it for you. If you use uh, Lightning Design System, uh, specific uh, uh, tags 
that itself uh, is a responsive design. No need to create any Android or, or iOS applications. So we have Salesforce One mobile app. All that you need to do is you just need to log into the app and, you're, and you will be able to open your org and open the specific account and then uh, do the operation. And no need to worry for security to an extent. What I meant here uh, is uh, you'll have the username and login to log into your specific account. And also, let's suppose if there are two houses owned by two different individuals, you can give the record level access to those individuals. So individual one can access the form house one and uh, while individual two will be accessing form house two. And these individuals uh, will not be able to access the others records as well. And moreover, the uh, last but not the least, Salesforce DevOg, it's free. You need not have to buy anything. You can just uh, request for the DevOg and you will be able to log in and then start exploring and writing your code. So that's it for now. Uh, in my next uh, uh, video, I'll show you how to acquire the data from LDR, Light Dependent Register, and uh, see the value in Salesforce and take an appropriate action after processing it. Hope you liked this video. Thanks a lot.